Okay, hello. I'm here to, today to show you how to change the publisher files on the brochures and the postcards and the poster, um, how to change images and text, and how these files are set up. Okay, so I'm going to go into the publisher brochure cover final. I'm going to double click on that. And as you see, there's four files. You're going to have the, all the original fonts, the images, the originals, and the template. If you know how to use a publisher templates, you can double click on this. This is the template and you can copy this into your template folder for publisher. And then every time you want to create a new document, you can use this template. Otherwise, it's exactly the same setup as the original. And that's what I'm going to be working with today. I'm going to show you how to change the text and the images on the originals and then save them as a different name. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is double click the original file and then double click the publisher file. And it'll open up the file for you. Okay, and as you can see, the brochure here is all laid out for you. Everything's in place and um, you can't move any of these items because they're locked. They're on what we call a master page. Master pages are very easy to work with, um, but it's very nice to be able to put them on a master page because then not any user can just open up the file and change things. So in order to do that, um, get to the master page, what you want to do is you want to go up to the tabs up here and click on view. Okay, and then over here to the left, it's going to show normal or master page view. I'm going to click on master page view and that's going to take me to a different screen. And now what I'm able to do is I'm able to change these images. I can select the image, I can select the text, I can select these boxes here, and it's all editable. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a little tip here. If you go up to the tab again and click on view, go to this graphics manager box and check mark that. What that's going to do is that's going to show you all the images that you have embedded into your document here. If you wanted to see the actual images, you can click on check mark this box, show thumbnail, and it shows you the tomato picture, the CalFresh, the Roots of Change logo, and that. But I prefer it to be like this because then I can see that the images are embedded. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can end up inserting your own logo into here and change these images. Okay, so here's a sponsored logo goes here box. So I'm going to click on it and highlight it. And now there are two ways that you can change this. You can either right click on it and go change picture, change picture. And this brings up your uh, dialog box to go find your picture. Or you can select it, of course, go up to the format tab and click on change picture and change picture. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go find my document, find my new image that I want to put in here. And I'm just going to pick one of these uh, cropped images I already have set up. And um, I'm going to use the Puente logo because that's um, the logo that I want to add and I'm going to click on it, highlight it and click insert and voila it changed it. In order, these are just crop marks you can just ignore those and just click off of it again and you're all set to go. Okay so I'm going to show you another way that you can change um, the larger image. What you'll want to do is the tomatoes you'll just click on it and select it and I'm going to right click on it and change the picture and go to change picture, change picture. And I'm going to pick the oranges and I'm going to click insert. Okay, so it inserted it and as you can see the image is just a little larger than where I want the cropped image to be. But that's okay because it's cropping it already with these marks. In order to just crop it quick, all you have to do is go up to the top here and click crop and voila it's done. If you want to make sure that your images are correctly proportioned for the um, box that it sits in, look up here to the um, right hand on the top and you'll see the height and width. You can use these numbers to be able to crop your image and that's all you have to do. 
It's as simple as that. And now that this has been changed, it is changed over here. And if I go show my thumbnail, so you can see the orange over here. Okay. So that's how you change images. Now I'm going to show you how to change text, and it's just as simple as any. All you do is you take and you highlight the text, and you start typing. And just type in your new text, and click off of it, and you're all set. Okay, and then where you're going to want to put your new your organization name is over here in this box here, and I have organization goes here. And all you would do is you would just highlight that, type in Puente, or whatever your organization is. I'm going to put Puente Market, and you're all set, and it's all changed for you. Okay, and so that's all done on the master page. In order to close the master page and not make this editable again, you're going to go up here to this box where it says Close Master Page and click X. Okay, now you can't touch any of this stuff again, and you sh you're, you're set to go. You'd be able to go and print. Okay, I hope this has helped, and thanks so much. Have a great day.